doing well welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do a little vlog Um, I have got a couple of bits on today I have got a lot of businessy bits to be sorting out so I just thought that I'd bring you guys along and share the day with you in case you were interested in what kind of things I'm getting up to now I am self-employed I have had a really good morning I got up relatively early had a coffee had some breakfast I then did a workout I just did like 15 20 minutes hula hooping um, whilst watching a bit of TV because that's like my favourite thing to do. I then had a shower, got ready and I'm not going to lie, I'm quite annoyed because I've wasted the last 15 minutes trying to change over my wild deodorant. So for like a very long time now I've had this wild deodorant case that they very kindly sent me actually a couple of years ago and I have bought so many refills for this thing. Um, I use it all the time, I use it as like my evening deodorant, like I put it on before I go to bed um, and I absolutely love it and I basically just ran out of one. So I bought a new one the other day in Sainsbury's, paid £5 for it, um, came to change over the deodorant which I've done several times I know exactly how to do it um, and it's broken this little like a little bit of plastic has snapped off of the inside bit and now I can't use it so I feel like I've wasted this deodorant because I don't have another I don't have another case that I can use it shouldn't break like that um, and now I just feel like I've wasted five pounds because well, I guess I can just put the lid back on that and save it but Oh, I don't know, it's really annoying. I have, like, no patience when it comes to stuff like this. Like, I'm a very patient person, but when it comes to, like, fiddly things, I literally have no patience. Like, it's it just snapped off, and, like, and now I've been trying to make it work, and there's just no way it's, it's just not going to work. Like, the little bit in here is snapped off. Coming up to half ten, and I wanted to start my working day at, like, ten o'clock. But anyway, we move. I will chat to you guys in a minute when I'm sat down and I'll show you what kind of things I'm working on. So I picked up this diary the other day in Typo. Um, and I thought I'd quickly show you guys because it's honestly so good. So I got this for a pound. It was in the sale. They have a really good sale on at the moment. Um, and I basically wanted a new diary for sugar for my business so that I could essentially plan out like every single day that I am like doing businessy things so that I can kind of keep track of my time and just like see how long things are taking me. So anyway, this is my this is my plan for today. Um, it's the first day I'm actually using the diary, but anyway, I'm I'm just gonna kind of like section out my day so that I have a clear view of what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to my mum and dad's later on this afternoon because I've got a hospital appointment and they're gonna take me. So yeah, and then. I've just kind of like blocked out some of my time for things. So get up, tidy, put washing on, done that. Hula hoop, exercise, shower and get ready, done that. Now I'm trying to do sugar socials, launch plan, finances and sort out my insurance policy. So I launched last week, actually, I'll talk to you guys this way. I am really having one of those Mondays. Um, I feel like everything's going wrong. So my camera's actually broken. Uh, one of the screws has come out of it. So it's not the end of the world, but I literally can't prop my camera up without the screen just falling down. And I don't know where to go. I guess I'm gonna have to find like a camera repair shop because all it needs is a screw, but I don't know where to get a screw for a camera because it's like the tiniest little thing ever. But literally like I'm having to crouch down because if I put my camera, if I tilt it anymore at a different angle, the whole screen just falls off it. Like, and then the whole deodorant thing, like, I just feel like today's not a good day, like not having a good Monday. Um, so here's a bit of real life for you. Anyway, I thought I'd yeah quickly talk to you about what I'm doing today. So I basically had a really good launch last week. I launched my business Sugar last Wednesday. We launched last Wednesday evening and sold out of two of the flavors within an hour, which was amazing. Like such a good response, and I was so happy with it. I then spent the next couple of days um, just like shipping out parcels and stuff and you know getting orders sent out that sort of thing which actually takes a lot longer than you'd expect like it took me two days basically to get all of the orders out um, but I really enjoyed it so that all happened I came across quite a few hurdles um, during my first launch which was always going to happen but there's like a few issues with shipping costs and stuff like that that I really just need to try and figure out because 
it basically didn't go the way I thought it would go and I've like Oh, I don't know, it's a long story and it's probably quite boring so I won't go into it but yeah, there, there was a few issues with like shipping and the cost of it, I thought it was less so I've like lost money because I charged less and then it actually turned out to be more the post office are very inconsistent, like I literally did tests the week before with influencer parcels and then the week after the prices had changed so I don't know what's going on so I need to try and figure that out so this morning I'm just going to sit here for a couple of hours and I'm just going to do some social bits because I'm planning to do my next drop of flavours and like basically put more stock online on my website this week um, in a couple of days so I need to plan all of that I need to plan what day I want to launch my second drop of uh, stock I need to figure out how many I'm going to make I need to create some social content around it because there needs to be a bit of hype um, I also need to figure out the financial side of things because that's where it's kind of gone a bit wrong So I need to sit and try and figure that out um, And then I've got a special flavor for Easter coming up So I need to like test out the recipe and stuff like that So I've got lots of things to do I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you like the real side of it because I just I want to be transparent like I've said this before um, and I just want to be completely honest, to be honest, about the business. Like, I actually filmed some clips on the day that we launched. Um, well, the day after we launched, when I was packing orders and stuff. I tried to vlog, but it was so stressful. And I was having such an awful day. And I felt like everything was going really wrong. Um, so, yeah, I kind of filmed a few clips, but it wasn't enough to make a vlog out of. So, I will actually insert those clips here. So, these are from the day after launch where I was like panic rushing, trying to make more products because some of the cakes went wrong and I couldn't sell them. Um, so yeah, this is me like panicking around, feeling stressed, trying to get orders shipped out and stuff. So enjoy these clips. I have had a very stressful morning and I thought that I should probably film a little clip even though I'm in a massive rush. My website went live last night for Sugar, which is so exciting and I was honestly blown away by the support. Two of the flavors completely sold out within the first hour. Um, and we've still got a couple of Oreo ones left. So I've been like pushing those on Instagram because I really would love to sell all of them and get them all shipped out at the same time. Um, but anyway, today is go, go, go. Like I'm honestly so busy. I got up early. I started putting together some of the orders because basically I have some of the jars ready to go. Um, I had two flavours ready to go but I had to put the Biscoff ones together this morning and it all went wrong, like some of the jars just didn't go right and the icing went a bit funny because it was really hot in my flat and a lot of things went wrong so I had to like disregard a load of jars that I made because I wasn't happy with them and I'm not going to sell them unless they are completely perfect and I'm really happy and proud of them. So I had to disregard those, I then had to run to Tesco and get some more ingredients because I was not planning on baking anything today. Like today was just going to be my shipping day and like putting orders together and stuff but yeah. I had to do some last minute baking. The cakes are currently in the oven right now. I think they're almost done. And then I've got to get those out, let them cool, and then assemble a few more jars. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling quite stressed, but I know I don't need to be stressed. It's just because I want everything to go perfectly and I want everyone to get their orders as soon as possible. And this is just something that's slightly delayed it. So yeah, um, that's what's been happening this morning. I am now starting to put some orders together. So I've just been assembling my boxes. I'm then gonna tape them up. Um, I've got some sheets of logos, which I've been putting on the jars. Um, I will show you guys a couple. Look at all these. I've got so many of them just sat next to me. Um, and I'm making sure that they have like a little label on the front with the logo and then I'm making sure they have a little date label on the bottom So it says what the flavor is so this one's birthday cake and then it's got the date on it Like the best before date kind of thing so people know when to eat them by Also if you are watching this and you've ordered a cake or you're thinking of ordering a cake um, It says it all on the website But we basically just advise that you put it in the fridge as soon as you get it and it'll extend the life of the cake Keep it a little bit fresher for longer um, I'm having a diet coke honestly i have had the smallest breakfast this morning i had a couple of biscuits and i've not eaten or drank anything since because i've been so busy but my number one priority is just to get everything done i'm not i'm not going to do anything else this morning until i get that done although i say that but i'm filming i feel like there's so much to do and so much to think about with each order that i really don't want to miss anything out and i just don't want to get it wrong you know when you're stressed sometimes you like miss things that are really obvious I need to get the cakes out of the oven so let's do that oh the lighting is lovely isn't it hey let's see what these cakes are saying 
I think they're looking pretty good. So I've just checked the cakes and they are cooked. So I'm going to let them cool on the side and I'm going to keep doing some packing bits, but I will catch up with you guys soon. Okay, so I'm packaging my first order. This is actually the first order that I got through the website as well. Um, a lovely girl ordered three jars. She ordered one of each flavor, so I've popped them in there. I've covered it in this like recycled um, shredded paper. We've got a gold spoon. I've then got a little handwritten note. And then I'm also popping in a little business card with a discount code on the back for her for her next order. So that is that. I'm then going to seal it up. I think I've done everything. I hope I have. Oh, this is really difficult with one hand. I'm going to seal that up and pop her address on it and then it is ready to go. I've also got a little fragile stamp that I've been using on the boxes as well just to make sure that, you know, it's handled with a little bit of care because I don't want you guys to receive the jars and then they're like all smushed and stuff, you know. So, yeah, I need to get on with this but I'm going to pack a few more orders. I've just packaged order number two. It looks slightly different. It's in a smaller box and it's just one jar. Got the little business card and a gold spoon. So, yes. Well, slightly quicker that time, but I still need to get quicker because I'm taking a while to do this. Okay, so I'm trying to cover up the addresses, but I've got five orders packed and ready to go. So I think I'm going to take these guys off to the post office and get those ones shipped off. And then I will come back and do some more orders. And now we're back to present times. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing those clips. I think I was quite stressed out in them. Um, but yes, I am going to, I think I might make a tea. It's coming up to half ten now, but I'm going to make a cup of tea. I'm then going to just sit and try and get some, like, ideas down and try and figure out what the heck I'm going to do about launch two. So, yeah, I will chat to you guys later on. Um, I might show you, like, what I'm having for lunch or something. just been sat at my desk for like the last half an hour I've been scheduling some Instagram content and planning stories and that kind of thing which is like my favorite thing to do so I've been having a great time um my tumble dryer has just been I've been doing washing all morning because I don't know why but I just let it build up until like I've got no clothes left to wear and then I have to do it all at once so I've just been washing a load of bedding um oh it's lovely and warm it's so lovely and warm so yeah, I'm gonna go and fold this up and put this away. And then I think I might, I kinda wanna pop to the shops cause I need something for lunch and I don't really know what to have. And I also need something for dinner. Basically I'm desperate to do a food shop, um, but I've actually got a food delivery from Sainsbury's coming tomorrow. It's mostly like ingredients and stuff for my cakes, um, but, I don't know whether to just add on everything I need to that shop. So guys, I'm gonna make some lunch. I'm having a very lazy lunch today. I'm gonna have some super noodles. I feel like I show myself eating these quite a lot and I can't lie, I do eat them quite a lot. Um, but like I said, I'm really desperate to go food shopping. So yeah, I'm just gonna have some classic super noodles and then I'm gonna take a little lunch break. I'm gonna watch some TV, catch up on Married at First Sight. Noodles. Married at first sight and gonna chill out for a little bit. Oh, and also I've made myself a little bib with some kitchen roll because they're curry noodles and I'm really worried that I'm gonna spill them down my jumper. So guys, I've just finished my lunch break and um, it's coming up to one o'clock now. Oh God, what's going on with my hair? I watched um, about half of an episode of Married at First Sight and I'm now just gonna get on with a few more work bits. Um, I've scheduled enough content, but now I need to create some Instagram stories and I just need to plan out a few more bits before I do my second drop of um, stock and cakes. So yeah, I'm just gonna be working on this for a, about the next hour or so. Um, and then I've got to get the bus to my mum and dad's house because they're taking me to the hospital. So yeah. Oh my God, my mirror is very dirty. I need to clean it. Um, I'm about to go to the bus now. I've just put my jacket and a little scarf on because I'm actually really cold even though it's been sunny the last few days, but I feel very cold today. Yeah, I'm literally gonna go get the bus. I'm gonna go to my mum and dad's. They're then taking me to my hospital appointment. It's all good by the way. It's just like a, I had to have something checked. So I'm having that done. Um, and then I'll be coming straight back here. So I'll chat to you guys when I'm back. 
Hi guys, I have only just got home. It's actually, I don't think it's too late, but it's getting dark now. Um, oh, actually it is coming up to seven o'clock. Um, I ended up staying at my mum and dad's for far longer than I thought I was going to. Basically, I had my hospital appointment, it all went fine. Um, and then my mum asked if I wanted to go back home, well, go back to my mum and dad's and stay for dinner. So I did, I accepted the offer, obviously. Like, I wasn't gonna turn down a free dinner. So I had dinner with them, it was really nice, I'll insert a clip here. We had cottage pie, uh, little like roast potatoes and peas with gravy and it was absolutely delicious. Um, and then they offered to drive me to Tesco so I could get a bit of food shopping. And so yeah, they very kindly took me to Tesco so I could get some bits. First thing is my laptop, which is not relevant. Um, but I thought I'd quickly show you what I got in the supermarket because you might be interested. So I'll just quickly whiz through it. Um, so firstly, I got a frozen pizza. This is just a ristorante. It was on offer, so I picked it up. Um, thought it'd be good to have in the freezer. I then got these, which are my new favorite thing. They are the Bird's Eye Green Cuisine Crispy Grills, and they are honestly so delicious. I buy them all the time. Um, I picked up some smoothies, because I haven't had little kids smoothies in ages, and I really like them. Um, so I got cherries, strawberries, and apples. Really like having those. I then picked up this, which is like my all-time favorite thing. Uh, it's from the brand Seven Days, and it's a really good croissant. Like, if you like croissants or like chocolate-filled ones, you need to get your hands on one of those. They are honestly delicious, and I thought I'd have a little treat. Um, I then picked up this for another little treat. It's a Rubicon Guava Sparkling Drink. I absolutely love it. I saw it, and I thought I haven't had that in ages. I've then got some veg and stuff, so I've got an avocado, got a broccoli. I picked up a big planet of strawberries to try and have some more fruit because I've been really, really slacking with the fruit lately. Um, I got a pepper, I got a courgette, I got some applewood smoked ham to have in uh, sandwiches, I got some mushrooms, and then what else did I get? Oh, it's very dark, I'm ever so sorry about the lighting. Got some bread, just a little 50, 50, 50 King's meal, it's like a mini loaf because I wanted some bread so I can have um, ham and coleslaw sandwiches. So, as you can imagine, I did also get a coleslaw, wherever it is, this one here, Tesco Finest Coleslaw, it is the best one ever. I got some bananas. God, I actually got so much. I got an Oatly uh, vanilla drink. I got some pasta. This is Tesco Finest Roasted Tomato and Burrata Ravioli. I thought that would be a nice dinner. Um, I got some fridge raiders, so I like having them in the fridge as like a little snack. Um, I got some tea. What ones did I get? I got pure peppermint and lemon and ginger teas because they were on offer. It was like two for one or something. Um, I got some Actimel drinks. I got the blueberry flavor, which I haven't tried before. And then, oh, two more, no, three more things. I got a small milk. Um, I got a pasta sauce. This is creamy mascarpone and tomato pasta sauce and then last but not least i got these which are for children but i wanted them myself um they are petit filou petit filou petit filou i don't know how to say it they're dairy free and they are made with almond milk and i thought they looked really nice so i got those to try so i'm now in my pjs i'm feeling all comfy um i'm gonna make myself a herbal tea i think and maybe have a little snack um and then i'm gonna get comfy on the sofa with a blanket I've just lit some candles, so I'm going to try and feel like a bit relaxed. But I'm also going to do um, a little bit of work because I didn't really do as much as I wanted to get done today. Just because my day ended up quite busy. You know, I stayed at my mum and dad's for longer than I was going to, which is fine. Not in a rush to get anything done, really. But um, I've got all day tomorrow to be productive. I've got a lot of, like, baking and stuff that I need to get done tomorrow. And prepping for our second launch, so drop number two on the website. Um... But yeah, I think I'm just going to do a few more social bits, really. I was really getting into creating some Instagram stories earlier, so I think I'm going to do that after I make a cup of tea. So guys, I've had my peppermint tea um i've just been on my laptop doing a few bits i've ordered myself a new deodorant um i also picked up a skincare product from bioma skincare i think that's what they're called um i keep seeing them on instagram i thought i'd try them and they were stocked in boots so 
I picked up that, which I can go and collect on Wednesday, so that's good. Um, I have just been chatting to Harry because we are about to book a holiday, which is very exciting. Um, I'm going to give him a call now and I'm going to like book it whilst I'm on the phone to him because I always get scared that I'm going to do something wrong, so... I'm gonna give him a call now. I've just booked a holiday. I'm so excited. Uh, me and Harry have booked a holiday to Tenerife, like a nice little last minute break away. I feel like I'm losing my voice today. I really don't know why. But yeah, very exciting to have a holiday book. This will be our first abroad holiday together. We've had like little breaks away and stuff. But we've never been like abroad together. So very exciting. We're just going for four nights. Um, but we thought it'd be a nice little break. So yeah, just finished booking that. It's just coming up to nine o'clock. Um, I'm feeling quite tired. I think I might go and take my makeup off because my face needs a good, like, cleanse. And then I think I'm just going to chill out. I've got some Married at First Sight left to watch. So I think I might get a snack, get comfy, take my makeup off and finish watching that. So I'm probably going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it, as always. If you have any video suggestions or comments or anything, just leave them down below. Um... Yeah, you guys are the best. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Goodbye.